coming up our driveway. The Estes family did not put out the welcome mat for this early morning visitor. He walked up the canyon and literally came up the driveway and then right through our gate over here. Brent Estes says he couldn't figure out how the big cat got into his backyard but realized later a gate they thought was closed was left slightly open. It was like that, and uh, he was able to push it open and, and walk right in. The commotion around 5 a.m. woke up Estes, who thought he would see raccoons, not a mountain lion. I walked out our door right there, and uh, he was right here uh, laying on top of our cat. Sadly, Sparkles didn't make it. This is actually uh, the first time that I can remember in the eight years that I've been here with a mountain lion sighting. Auburn police are warning residents to be aware and take precautions if this mountain lion or others roam from the canyon into the neighborhoods again. Make sure that you have proper lighting, maybe motion lights. Make sure that your vegetation is cut back so as to maybe not attract them to any type of, you know, food or other interests that they may be interested in. Estes and neighbors say living in the foothills of Auburn, they're used to seeing wildlife from raccoons and rattlesnakes, even bears sometimes. But a mountain lion in a backyard? That's a first. We live on the canyon. We're, we're in their territory. We know that we have nature around us. It's a, a choice we have. So I'm not upset or mad at the cat. I was just caught off guard. He, he totally caught me off guard. In Auburn, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News. And just a reminder, if you see a mountain lion, call the California Department of Fish and Wildlife or 911. And uh, by the way, mountain lions are a protected species here in the state of California.